Hello everyone. My name is Art Russell. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to offer some information to help you find your way home. Now you might be thinking, but Art, I already know my way home. Thank you very much. And if that's the case, I hear what you're saying. But for the purpose of this video, I'm defining home as knowing recognition of our essential nature beyond name and form. We've been conditioned to believe that our body-mind is home and that we are a separate self in a great big world. Now the paradox involved is that it's impossible for us not to actually already be home. It's just we've been informed that home is something other than what it actually is. I'm hoping that the information that I share will help you question your assumptions about your true essential nature. All right, let's get into it. The first piece of information comes from a book entitled Rising in Consciousness by Joel S. Goldsmith. He was a noted teacher, author, lecturer, spiritual healer and a modern day mystic. Here's the quote. Ultimately, we will discover that God is our very consciousness. One more time. Ultimately, we will discover that God is our very consciousness. Now, we've been led to believe that each of us has our own consciousness and that it arises from processes within the brain. And it may be surprising to you, but this is yet to be proven by science. And it never will be because it's not founded in truth. The second point comes from Rupert Spira, who's a noted author and teacher about non-duality. In one of his YouTube videos, I remember hearing him say that a teacher of his once said, you must first move out of the small house before you can move into the big house. Now, what he's referring to is a shift in perspective from believing that we are the body mind, that would be the small perspective, and expanding our perspective into the big house, consciousness or awareness, that which we actually are. From the big perspective, we realize that the body-mind is an appearance within consciousness, which is what we actually are. The third point comes from a famous Indian wisdom story, and it, and it goes something like this. There was once a pregnant lioness, and she'd been stalking a flock of sheep for several days, wanting to get food. And on one particular day, she leapt into the, the flock, and as she did so, she gave birth and then died suddenly. So here was this little lion cub left in the company of all these sheep. And as you can imagine, for the purpose of this story, the sheep nurtured the little lion cub and treated it as one of their own. And in time, the lion cub learned to graze and bleat Bleh. like the rest of them. And one day, a mature lion, male lion, saw what was happening and he could hardly believe his eyes. But he waited for his opportunity and at, at, when he got a chance, he approached the lion, the little lion cub, and said, you're, you're not a sheep. And the little lion, little lion cub said, yes, I am. And it bleated, see, see, I'm... I'm a sheep. 
And the mature lion convinced the lion cub to follow him to a small pond. And he said, take a look in, see your reflection. You look like me. And the little lion cub did that and realized he did look like a smaller version of the lion. And the mature lion convinced him to try, try roaring. And at first the little lion cub did a little squeaky little roar. And then as he realized his full power, out came a great big roar. And what I'm hoping is that some of the information in this video will help you recognize what you truly are. Roar like a lion or a lioness. Question your assumptions about what you truly are. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and click a like. More information is available through my free articles at thinktwice.me and my book entitled This Taste of Flesh and Bones, which is available from Amazon. Thank you very much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Bye for now. We'll talk again soon.